In this lecture, we are going to understand about atoms. Now, many times in your life, you will come across various objects. Let's say you saw a stone. A stone is very solid. It is a compact collection of stuff. Now, what will happen is that if you start breaking the stone, let's say first you divide it into two parts. Obviously, not an easy task. Then this part which you have, you further divide into two parts. Then this part you further divide into two parts. Then further into two parts. Then further. Then further. Then further. Then further. And then further. So ultimately you will re reach a situation where you will break this into such a small part. Or actually I should not use this color. You will ultimately break it into such a small particle which cannot be divided any further. Now, this smallest particle or this smallest object which is reached after a stage which cannot be divided any further is called an atom. Or rather, an atom is an, a particle which is not divisible any further. Now this small particle which cannot be divided any further and is called atom is so small in size. Now if you consider the size of an atom, it is so small in size that it is not even visible. I mean I still make it this dot to look like an atom but in practical life this atom might be so small that it may actually be invisible. The size of an atom or rather the size of an atomic radius is basically equal to 1 upon 10 to the power 9 meter and this is something which is called a nanometer this is called 1 nm or nanometer as we call it that's basically the size of an atom so you can imagine that it is I mean, one meter will be how much? It's not too big. If an uh, atom's radius is one upon time to the power nine, you can imagine it might be almost invisible. You might have to actually use a microscope. But an atom is a very important thing. Why? Because our entire world is actually made of atoms. 